ladies and gentlemen today we are with abhishek kulyani the ceo of hills and alton one of the foremost agencies with a 30 year background into managing uh, brand reputation public affairs and communication strategies abhishek it's an incredible time to be in this space with a lot of hyper sensitivity around and uh, the stakes are much higher and you've got clients who are incredibly sensitive to you know these disruptions which are caused in the market by way of something being spoken or something happening would you be able to take us through that journey of uh, you know what's at stake and what's your approach to addressing these diverse market needs with the sort of clients that you have yeah no thank you so much for first having me i think i think what what we have to realize first is that we are today in a very disruptive environment where ceos and chief marketing officers everybody are facing very diverse market challenges right mm-hmm. uh, and it could be and opinions and narratives today get changed overnight and therefore you don't have a standstill but it's a transformation that you need to look at continuously and you're looking at building up a scalable business and therefore what we typically look at when people are looking at transformation is through the lens of areas where you look at your business from a scalability perspective at three parameters one is uh, your reputation metrics which is very very important but more importantly also is while you're enhancing reputation you need to look at risk parameters which are sometimes in your control or sometimes out of your control which could be say for example a geopolitical crisis that could impact your business or or just competition pricing right uh, that could uh, be at risk but while enhancing reputation and protecting against risk is also important for you to be looking at growth because ultimately you want to run a profitable business mm-hmm. and therefore we are realizing that when you're looking at communication metrics you need to look at transformation from these three lens and then approach it through advisory approach it through risk assessment and approach it through creative innovation and solutions for for largely a much wider uh, ecosystem of your stakeholders and not necessarily just your customers so because the diversity of the audiences that today uh, businesses have to speak to is much more broader than just very uh, you know one dimensional and in this time communications is a lot more dependent on, on technology innovation there is a lot of experiment happening in that space as well how is hills and norton addressing that what are some of the key strategies or key innovation or innovative practices yeah. that you guys have adopted yeah no let me answer that question a little differently right or uh, when it comes to communications i think there are two aspects that are changing one is the consumer behavior around uh, technology it's it's very integral to how uh, consumers are today uh, uh, looking at consumption of information right so uh, it's from the time that you switch on your mobile in the morning till uh, you go to sleep and therefore there is an interaction of brand that could potentially happen at any of those touch points during the day and i think it's very important for communication uh, partners to start looking at how do you integrate that into your narrative building for your brands uh, that's one part of it and the second part of it is how are you using solutions like ar vr and artificial intelligence to do uh, a provide creative solutions to narrative building where you find interesting ways of interacting with uh, with with audiences for our brands Uh, and also start looking at areas where you could do risk assessment and predictive analysis using artificial intelligence to uh, keep brands more uh, you know from a risk perspective more secured so i think there is uh, just i think the future is a lot on how technology is going to interface and how brands kind of utilize that uh, going forward and we are really at the center of that conversation right now so how do you uh, then measure these uh, using ai parameters or using technology how do you keep track of these uh, metrics in fact technology and these things have added a lot more to measurement than they were earlier it was very open ended today uh, using technology using uh, uh, impact assessments you can actually give a view into how these placeholders are moving for a brand right uh, you are able to kind of get very real time data around how consumers are interacting with the brand Uh, and how are they reacting to it what is the sentiment that's coming through so uh, you know ceos and uh, both uh, marketing heads are much more informed today than they were uh, blindsided by just open discussions and things but right now they have a much closer look at data to analyze uh, going forward but really i i think this is a space to watch out for it's going to get stronger uh, and uh, it's going to Im- uh, impact and business impact of this data is going to be very integral as you go forward great abhishek the time that we are living in uh, is also dominated by a lot of 
crisis management when it comes to sustainability when it comes to organizations uh, adopting these business practices which are helping or harming the environment and the consumers are extremely sensitive about it i am sure some of your clients are uh, intrigued by this and may have adopted uh, these policies as well so what's your take on it how do you see uh, sustainability climate crisis uh, impacting businesses and how do you advise your clients so i think uh, these are metrics that as i said that when you look at reputation risks and growth i think you know like technology sustainability conversations are at the center of those conversations and i think brands have to look at it in a more integral way than uh, than earlier and i think there is there is a lot more awareness and conversation that's happening in this space by brands which is which is great and i think the other part of this is that just broad sense of purpose is becoming very very central in fact we were at a, a discussion earlier uh, where we said you know where everybody agreed that good talent also wants to join companies that are they're just very strongly purpose led mm -hmm. so i think it's it's much more central uh, to conversations now and sustainability and climate uh, conversations are uh, very integral to uh, you know reputation of brands going forward great thank you so much for that uh, before we end we would like to delve deep into uh, your personal aspect yeah. as well i went through your profile and i got to know that you're a avid uh, theater artist you've played cricket and you know you're quite passionate about these things how does those uh, aspects of your personal life impact your professional life how is your style as a leader uh, when you reach office in the morning how do you motivate your team what do you tell your team and so the question on theater has been asked quite a bit right and i and i've answered this earlier i think theater has helped me quite a bit uh, and it was just not college before that a lot of uh, i come from a background my dad uh, my father is a national drama graduate and mm -hmm. actually retired from that institution so i've lived my life through uh, doing theater and i think if you're trying to kind of get a more tangible impactful answer i think just the study on consumer behavior is 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 much more evolved if you uh, have uh, read a lot and you understand characterization the nuances you're able to understand a lot more us uh, interpretation of conversations is a lot more so i think theater teaches you all of those things and plus it teaches you discipline teaches you trust it teaches you collaboration it teaches you teamwork so all of those facets actually come alive great thank you so much for accepting our invite and being with us i look forward to speaking with you again thank you in the thank you again thank you